Here's the one feature that separates this lawnmower from all its competitors. RTK plus vision navigation with no wires. Hi, I'm Martijn and I test smart battery powered products. Today we're taking a look at the robot mower from FJ Dynamics, the FE2000. A robotic mower that claims it can mow up to 2000 square meters a day with centimeter level accuracy and without any boundary wires. So stick around because I'll show you in this video the unboxing, the setup, how it performs in different parts in my garden, as well as all the pros and cons after using it for quite some time. Like I said, let's start with the unboxing. In the box you of course find the mower, but also the RTK base station, the charging dock, power cables and a quick start guide. Right out of the box it feels heavier and sturdier than I expected, which usually means the build quality is solid and is not going to blow away in a gust of wind. And setting it up is surprisingly quick. Place the dock in a spot the mower can easily reach. Next, set up the RTK station where it has a clear view of the sky. Connect all the cables and you're ready to map your lawn. Instead of laying hundreds of meters of wire, you just map your lawn in the app. You can add, for example, no-go zones around things like flower beds and even corridors to connect separate areas. The FV2000's standout feature is its RTK GPS combined with vision-based navigation. And this combo means it knows exactly where it is. Down to the centimeter. And when GPS signal drops, for example, under trees or near buildings, it seamlessly switches to its onboard camera system to stay perfectly on course. I have this big canopy, the high fences and a sunscreen, and I thought the RTK would sometimes lose its connection, but it didn't. The connection stayed strong and mowing lines stayed perfectly straight. It's also fitted with obstacle detection, so when our dog decided to lay in the middle of the grass field with her toys, instead of getting confused or too close, it slowed down, adjusted its route and went around it without any drama. If it needs to recharge halfway through, it remembers exactly where it left off and starts from there once recharged. The battery lasts around 90 minutes before it heads back to charge. And here's the important part, it only takes 60 minutes to fully recharge. That means in just two and a half hours, it can complete a full 150 minute mowing cycle. Now I have to say many other competing models run a bit longer on one charge, but often take twice as long or more to recharge. So overall, the FV2000 still finishes the job faster. On paper, it can handle slopes up to 33 degrees, which is quite steep for a robot mower. If this is important to you, then make sure you check out some other videos too, because unfortunately, I cannot test this. Underneath, it has a 255 mm cutting width and adjusting cutting height from 10 to 50 mm, letting you choose between a close crop lawn or a slightly longer, healthier cut. Let's get back to the app a bit more, because in the app you can do a lot of things. For example, you can set schedules, view the live progress, control it manually or pause it from anywhere. The live map in the app is oddly satisfying to watch. You can literally see the lawn getting greener on the screen as it works its way around. I already mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but you can easily manage and add no-go zones. So I've set it up, for example, around my flower beds, so it never trims something it shouldn't. The app also gets over the air updates, so new features and improvements uh, just show up without you doing anything. There's even a fun manual drive mode, so if you want to quickly touch up a corner or move it somewhere without carrying it, you can just steer it from your phone. And if you have multiple areas of lawn, the corridor management makes it easy for the mower to navigate between them without getting stuck. In my case, it passes right through a narrow path to the other yard with no issues. 
The rain sensor means it pauses mowing and heads back to the dock automatically when it detects rain. And with an IPX5 rating, you can rinse it down the hose after mowing, something I really appreciate. So after a few weeks of use, here's what I think of it. So on the pro side, we have for sure the no boundary wires plus easy quick install. Accurate mowing, handles uneven lawns well, real-time app control and tracking, and lastly, rain detection and easy cleaning. And on the other side, I've got two points to take into consideration. First of all, the long-term durability is unknown, and a 90-minute runtime means multiple cycles for very large lawns. For me, the no-wire setup is the biggest win by far. I've laid it out before, and I'm happy that I never have to go back anymore. If you've got up to 2,000 square meters of lawn, especially if it's complex or has slopes, this mower could save you hours every month. If your lawn is a bit small, like mine, your experience will be even better, because this mower completes the work very efficiently without supervision. It's like having a professional lawn care expert at your service. And if you love tech, it's definitely worth it. For me, this is the type of tech that I love because it takes care of your garden, saves me a lot of time that I can spend with my family, and it just quietly does the job without me even thinking about it anymore. Now, if you want to have the same in your house, then go watch this video over here. It's a robot cleaner for in your house. Go check it out right now because we've reached the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you in the next one.